I have called thee into being, have nurtured thee, protected thee, loved thee, raised thee up, and have graciously chosen thee to be the manifestation of my own self, that thou mayest recite my verses as ordained by me, and may summon whomsoever I have created unto my religion, which is none other than this glorious and exalted path. It is better to guide one soul than to possess all that is on earth. For as long as that guided soul is under the shadow of the tree of divine unity, he and the one who hath guided him will both be recipients of God's tender mercy. Whereas possession of earthly things will cease at the time of death. The path to guidance is one of love and compassion, not of force and coercion. This hath been God's method in the past and shall continue to be in the future. He causeth him whom he pleaseth to enter the shadow of his mercy. Verily, he is the supreme protector, the all-generous. Become as true brethren in the one and indivisible religion of God, free from distinction. For verily, God desireth that your hearts should become mirrors unto your brethren in the faith, so that ye find yourselves reflected in them and they in you. This is the true path of God, the Almighty, and He is indeed watchful over your actions. O peoples of the earth, verily, the resplendent light of God hath appeared in your midst, invested with this unhearing book, that ye may be guided aright to the ways of peace and, by the leave of God, step out of the darkness into the light and onto this far extended path of truth. All praise be to God who hath, through the power of truth, sent down this book unto his servant, that it may serve as a shining light for all mankind. Verily, this is none other than the sovereign truth. It is the path which God hath laid out for all that are in heaven and on earth. Let him then who will take for himself the right path unto his Lord. Verily, this is the true faith of God, and sufficient witness are God and such as are endowed with the knowledge of the book. This is indeed the eternal truth which God the Ancient of Days hath revealed unto his omnipotent word, he who hath been raised up from the midst of the burning bush. This is the mystery which hath been hidden from all that are in heaven and on earth, and in this wondrous revelation it hath, in very truth, been set forth in the mother book by the hand of God, the exalted. I beg thee by thyself, O my God, my Lord and my Master, to intercede in my behalf. I have fled from thy justice unto thy mercy. For my refuge I am seeking thee, and such as turn not away from thy path, even for the twinkling of an eye, they for whose sake thou didst create the creation as a token of thy grace and bounty. O my God, thou hast inspired my soul to offer its supplication to thee, 
and but for thee, I would not call upon thee. Lauded and glorified art thou. I yield thee praise inasmuch as thou didst reveal thyself unto me, and I beg thee to forgive me, since I have fallen short in my duty to know thee, and have failed to walk in the path of thy love. Take thou good heed that ye may all, under the leadership of him who is the source of divine guidance, be enabled to direct thy steps aright upon the bridge, which is sharper than the sword and finer than a hair, so that perchance the things which from the beginning of thy life till the end thou hast performed for the love of God may not all at once and unrealized by thyself be turned to acts not acceptable in the sight of God. Verily, God guideth whom he will into the path of absolute certitude. All praise be unto thee, O Lord my God. I beseech thee by such souls as are eagerly waiting at the gate and by those holy beings who have attained the court of thy presence, to cast upon us the glances of thy tender compassion, and to regard us with the eye of thy loving providence. Cause our souls to be enkindled with the fire of thy tender affection, and give us to drink of the living waters of thy bounty. Keep us steadfast in the path of thine ardent love, and enable us to abide within the precincts of thy holiness. Verily, thou art the giver, the most generous, the all-knowing, the all-informed. A good character is verily the best mantle for men from God. With it, he adorneth the temples of his loved ones. By my life, the light of a good character surpasseth the light of the sun and the radiance thereof. Whoso attaineth unto it is accounted as a jewel among men. The glory and the upliftment of the world must needs depend upon it. A goodly character is a means whereby men are guided to the straight path and are led to the great announcement. <laughs>